Good morning. Good morning to all. Uh, dear ambassadors, uh, thank you very much. Dear general director of INBAR, general director of ICBR, and uh, dear colleagues. On behalf of the University of Lisbon and the School of Agriculture, myself and my colleagues, uh, Professor Luis Goulão and Professor Pedro Arsenio that are with us, I would like to congratulate first the organizers of this seminar, Mr. Borja La Peña, for this excellent opportunity to share our knowledge and to look for the future. Um, in fact, we, the world is in a fast transition. We can speak about uh, virtual machines, uh, intellig artificial intelligence, but one thing is sure, plant-based materials and uh, natural-based solutions will stay with us. So it's uh, very important to address this challenge that we are facing now, and I will try to provide a very brief talk. I just, we are in late, so I will run uh, along our uh, presentation. Okay, this is um, just a short overview of our university, of our School of Agriculture. It's a very nice place. All of you are invited to visit us, as you can see. This is all, it's uh, 100 hectares in the middle of the Lisbon. So it's a, a wonderful place to study, a wonderful place to make uh, experience and so on. Um, we are dedicated for just, we are for uh, 100 years uh, we are uh, teaching agriculture uh, and related science. Now agriculture, forest, food engineering, environmental engineering also, zootechnical biology and landscape ar architecture. So this is our core business and uh, we are uh, very proud to provide it for a long time. This is our uh, uh, figure about our research papers. Uh, some key numbers, and it's easy to see that uh, plant-based are our core. Uh, but also environmental sciences and agriculture, chemistry, water resources, well, soil science. So uh, uh, a large areas in this field that we are um, uh, that our, we are focused. So just a little bit about natural wastewater treatment systems. Uh, this is a project we have done, this is an example we choose, it's because it is a project we have made with uh, colleagues from Spain, from Santa, Sevilla and Canarias. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was to address the, the problem of uh, treating wastewaters and producing biomass at the same time. So in order to have a revenue for the farmers. This is, in, it, we did it in Portugal, we used the wastewater we treated and so we can remove pollutants, but we also use the water for reuse and to produce biomass. And this is a plant, uh, experimental plant that we have developed. And um, it was very interesting. Uh, it was in a rural area and uh, the farmers were very involved in this, uh, in this goal. And um, well, we have pr made some studies about uh, water permeability in order to calculate the requir water requirements and if the soil was uh, appropriate to this uh, species. And um, it took for one year, more or less, uh, this experience. Uh, this is also uh, from Canarias, uh, an experiment with a constructed wetland. And it also was very amazing, the results we obtained. Just a short, that we made also a life cycle assessment. Uh, we compare this type of uh, uh, constructed wetlands with other conventional uh, wastewater treatment plants. So we made uh, this life cycle assessment um, 10 years ago. So it was in the beginning of the life cycle thinking. And uh, this is uh, numbers, I will skip. And this is uh, what is in uh, normal as impact the impacts of uh, the three types of uh, wastewater treatment plants. And of course, natural-based solutions were the best, um, mostly because they were no uh, aeration, no artificial aeration. And uh, so energy, there was a, a very low energy consumption. Uh, of course, the performance should be uh, designed uh, and should be considered 
in order to fulfill the requirements for wastewater discharge. But when we use it to produce biomass, as we can make with bamboo, uh, the balance will be much positive. So it was positive, but it could be better, of course. This is just the, uh, uh, the wastewater treatment plant just before the uh, biomass production that was painted by the kids. And we also made uh, in the accordance with the Water Framework Directive that it's a, a, a masterpiece of water resources management in Europe. We also calculate uh, cost effectiveness factors using this type of systems and uh, with making uh, cost functions and uh, try to optimize in order to disseminate in rural areas as a cost effectiveness measures in order to improve wastewater treatment and to be in accordance with the water framework directive. So this was uh, the whole work we did. And we also just uh, finished. We also are interested in looking now for uh, uh, make resource recovery and uh, at buildings. And uh, of course, for what is called the gray uh, waters, we are looking for uh, small constructed wetlands to put in place. So we want to recycle every type of water. Uh, just conclusions and recommendations. It's a short, okay. We agreed and we know that bamboo is uh, new in Europe. There are some experience, uh, but they are uh, uh, very few. Um, we, at the time, we don't see any uh, bad effect. Anyhow, we think that we should have a precautionary principle and so we should uh, address this issue uh, very uh, in a sound uh, environmental principles. So we think that it's uh, necessary uh, to make environmental assessment studies in order to find good practice and to avoid misunderstandings. We are aware that uh, this communication of using bamboo in Europe and in the South uh, countries uh, is required and uh, we should address that uh, very straight, so uh, in a very clear way. And um, for that reason, we will make a pilot test in our university that we will sync now to make it. Uh, we'll want to design a small uh, pilot plant also to our pupils, to our students. Is our, as you saw in the first uh, picture, the School of Agriculture is like a living lab for uh, testing and for addressing these environmental uh, issues. And we also are making, uh, we are interested in make life cycle assessment in a consequential environment. That is, we can uh, compare different scenarios of, uh, of different species. And uh, of course, also at the end, as I said, uh, we also want to reuse water. Water is, a scar is scarce. Water scarcity in uh, Mediterranean is well known. So everything that can be reused in order to produce uh, biomass, it will be uh, a plus. Thank you very much. <laughs>